Hi guys, this is Max Tapper again for HowCast. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a prone bench row. Now, some people may not understand what prone is, but prone just means facing down. If you ever heard the two terms prone and supine, prone is facing down, supine means facing up. So just think of a soup cup, soup and prone, right? Facing down, prone bench row. And what we're gonna do is use an incline bench like this, and we're gonna have some dumbbells on the side. For this, we have some 50s putting our chest against the pad and we're doing the same uh, positioning or the same type of principles of a normal row. Again, uh, when we spoke about doing a dumbbell row, I told you about one tip is that keep your hand as a hook, all right? Now the minute you leave that hook, you take away a lot of the recruitment of your forearm and bicep muscles, all right? They're gonna work anyway, but we want the main muscle to work is to be the lat, okay? So we're gonna get a lot of rhomboids, rear delts, we're gonna get uh, some anterior delts even in, in the same position. So what we're gonna do in this exercise is a dumbbell row laying on an inclined bench. So we're laying flat down, and we're gonna use the same principles that we did in our other row as using our hand as a hook, okay? Now the minute we take away that squeeze in the forearm, we effectively release the, the, the recruitment of the forearm and bicep muscles, because our main goal is to work our lat, right? So that's what we wanna focus on and isolate a little bit more. Let me show you how this looks. All right, now this is the position that we're gonna be in. We're laying on an incline bench facing down. I have my legs touching the floor, but you can also put them on the bench like this. Okay, so we're just gonna reach down, grab a hold of these dumbbells. And all we're doing is rowing. Slow on the way down, control, up. Slow on the way down, control, pull. Slow and control. Now, we also really wanna make sure that you're contracting your shoulder blades. You can allow those shoulder blades to drop down, but we definitely need to retract them. Pull them back. Slow on the way down. Allow those shoulder blades to come forward. Pinch and up. Now that is how we do a prone dumbbell row on the incline bench.